Hello everybody, welcome to Myth with PJ. Today's date is May 15, 2016. It is Sunday. And our discussion today is going to be on the Great I Am. In Genesis 12, 1 through 3, God tells Abraham to leave his country, which was Ur, and take his kindred and his father's house to a land that he will be shown. And I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all those all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Abraham did understand what God was talking about and understood that God was the great I am. In Exodus, when Moses it was Exodus three fourteen, when Moses saw the burning bush it and it wasn't consumed, it amazed him. Within the bush, God spoke to him and chose him to lead his people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Moses asked, Who should I tell them that sent me? God told him, Tell them, I am has sent you. Isaiah 45, 6, I am and there is none beside me. Psalm 9, 10, and those who know your name put their trust in you. John 8, 56-59 Jesus mentioned that before Abraham, I am. Here he was stating that he and the Father are one. Now what I had to do to figure this out, I had to define it. Well, I am comes from the Hebrew word of Heiah, which is meaning to be. So this is closely related to Yahweh. My nature cannot be declared in words, cannot be conceived by the human thought. I exist in such sort that my whole instructable nature is implied in my existence. I exist as nothing else does necessarily, eternally, in reality. If I am to give myself a name expressive of my nature, so far as language can be, let me be called I Am. God is the great I Am who planned and created everything. If we truly know God's name, we will trust Him completely. Jesus Christ and God are one. I want you to think about this today and have a blessed day.